everybody loves to paint, right? Everybody loves to pay somebody to paint. Uh, where we live, the average painting cycle is five to seven years. Now, you probably already know that that's true. So, thank you. So, uh, what I'd like to do is just share a little bit with you on, on the approach we take and how you can expect to get like you said, 10 years uh, in most cases out of your paint job. So uh, I'll never forget when we started the company back in 2004, I went to uh, my, uh, who was then my PPG rep, uh, I'll just say Greg at the moment. And, um, and I asked him, I said, Greg, tell me, what is the textbook way of painting a house? And so he told me, he, he, he went through, of course, the, the prep, process and and then of course the quality of the material the the, the scraping the 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 quality of the caulk uh, the full primer that's that we use and we tint before we put the final coat on and and he belabored the subject and went on it probably was about a 15 minute uh, description on how to do it but and then I'll never forget afterwards he started chuckling and I'm like well, what's so funny? And he said, Jeff, nobody does it this way because, first of all, you're going to spend more in product, so it's going to cost you more. And secondly, what's going to happen is, is your repeat business is going to come back in 10 years instead of the average five to seven years. And I said, that's exactly what I want to do because I don't want to just make a painting sale I want to get a customer. I, I want someone who I can build a relationship with that the next time it's time to paint their house, they're going to hire us. And so that's exactly the process that we do. And, and it is amazing on how many competitors when I talk to them and, and, and of course homeowners uh, after they've you know hired us and we, we get to know them, on how they, uh, I'll just say cut corners a bit. So to reiterate what we do is when we come in, we, we power wash, of course, unless there's lead-based paint, which we can no longer do. Uh, and then we scrape. If there's any rotted boards, be it siding, be it trim boards, obviously we want to deal with those. I know a lot of companies just do the painting part. Uh, but here's, here's the big key in the whole process, and that is using a bonding primer over everything. Not just spot priming, but over everything. And that bonding primer, it does a lot of things. One is, after you've scraped and caulked, believe it or not, you put that primer on, and in addition to allowing that finish coat, giving it something to really stick to, it also will show you, is there any extra peeling going on that we missed? Real key. Second thing is, by doing that tinted bonding primer, so let's just say you've got a color that's going to be blue. We'll tint that blue 80%, 90%. So we've got that full consistent color over all the substrate, over all the trim, whatever the color is going to be. Then we come back with that real thick milled finish coat. And what that does is, is that gives that finish coat something to bond to. And it's consistent. So we don't water down the products, we go through all the steps, and 80% of our customers call us back 10 years, not five years, not seven years. Now, environment does indeed affect. So there are, you know, 20% that call us back within that five to seven years. It happens. But to get the paint cycle to last as long as it possibly can, we're proud and we say, hire someone that's going to use the textbook approach to exterior painting. Now, there's also substrates and products that are, you know, siding that's different. You Believe it or not, you can paint vinyl siding. You just have to use the right primer base to do that. Uh, you've got cedar siding so, and wood siding. So those products will soak in a little bit more than, say, a fiber cement type product. So there are factors that come into play, but truly you can expect 80% of the time to get that 10-year paint cycle, which if you pay someone to paint your house, 
that's thousands of dollars calculated over time. So thank you so much. Paint cycles, yes, you can have it for 10 years. We have a question here. Uh, that is a great point. We used to only uh, brush and roll. And we did that up until about six, seven years ago. What happened was the EPA, when they did a lot of changing of the VOCs and, uh, you know, formulated the, the products differently, the manufacturers, in order to respond to that, put quicker drying agents into their uh, products. So what would happen is if we brush and roll and then we stop and it starts to flash, or you can see, in other words, where we would stop and start. So I, I called my reps up and said, what's going on here? And uh, they said, Jeff, you've got to start spraying and then back rolling. The key is the mill thickness. Of course, the product, you know, not, not a builder grade type product, but a, a good product, say with a Sherwin-Williams, like an Emerald uh, Duration or uh, something like that. Um, uh, Porter would be like a permanizer, you know, a top-of-the-line type product. But it's the, it's the mill thickness that you put on. A lot of these products, they have mill gauges. And so as long as you get that thick coat on like you're supposed to, uh, you can still accomplish that longevity. So, All right. Thank you so much.